Redmond altimeter 3023. Hey everyone. Join me for my very first flight as a private pilot with a passenger. First off, I start by heading inside of our lobby, find out the plane I'm flying, and then complete my manifest to make sure my numbers are perfect. Next, I'm going to head outside to do my pre-flight. Since I don't have escort access, my girlfriend had to be brought out to me by one of our wonderful CFIs. Here's the delivery. <laughs> I have a full trust in you. <laughs> have fun, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, now it's time to continue the pre-flight. I'm manually checking the tanks in each wing to make sure there's enough fuel for the flight, and if not, I call for the fuel truck. There, I move to the rear of the aircraft where I begin my walk around, checking all the flight surfaces of the entire aircraft, every piece, making sure that I can do everything to make sure we have a safe and secure flight. Here, I'm checking the ailerons to make sure they not only move up and down freely to give full deflection, but the aileron on the other side of the plane is moving in the opposite direction that this aileron is being deflected and the yoke should be moving corresponding to that meaning that whichever way the yoke is pointed that aileron should be pointing up next up time to sump the fuel this is where we pull fuel from particular drain ports around the plane checking for water and any other contaminants that could cause problems in the fuel system during flight. All right, hold it up to the light, look for contaminants, water, looks great. Pre-flight's completed, we're out of here. The aircraft's dashboard cowling is pretty tall and my girlfriend is, let's say, vertically challenged. So I got her a booster seat to make sure you can see the flight. All right, time to pull the plane out. No fancy tugs here at flight school. All manual labor. Pull it out yourself and get yourself ready. So use the prop wash off the plane in front to make her laugh with an MJ impression. <laughs> there she is. The brave soul. My first <laughs> official passenger. Here we go. From there we taxied out to the runway, making sure to stop at the whole short line until we got clearance for takeoff. There was some landing traffic, so it took a bit before we got our clearance for takeoff. So I used this time to kind of go over a few things while keeping the talking to a minute to make sure we could hear our tail number when the ATC gave us our clearance for takeoff. Uh, runway 11 cleared for takeoff, left turn proof. And there it is, time to perform the miss checklist, and now we're on the roll. All right, it's time to go. Heels to the floor on center line, power in full, airspeed's coming alive. Let's do this. Press the 177 Bravo Delta, Revit Tower, East Departure, approved runway 11, clear for takeoff. Climb out of Redmond is beautiful. I climbed us up to a nice safe altitude inside of our North Practice area, made a few position radio calls to make sure everyone knows we're here in the area 
the safe, and then it was time to hand Judy the controls. I gave her a couple quick pointers and also explained how the verbiage of positive flight controls works. And a few words, your controls. And she had the plane. She was very smooth and gentle with the controls. I was highly impressed. Unlike my first time flying, it was like a big gorilla just pulling on controls and yanking on things. Good job. After confirming a positive transfer of flight controls with my controls, I went ahead and swung us down by Lake Billy, which is just gorgeous this time of the year. She was amazed by the views. We couldn't have picked a better day for this flight. The air was perfectly smooth and visibility was as far as the eye could see. Wow, what a day. Time really does fly when you're having fun and just like that it was time to head back. So we tuned in the ATIS, got the current information, called up tower and with information Foxtrot we requested clearance for landing. Tower advised us to enter a three mile left base for runway 11 and that we were cleared to land on 11. So, time to follow instructions, get set up for landing, and head on in. So as you're prepping to turn base to final west of 97 for runway 11, there's a Taco Bell right there. It's my little landmark. I spot the Taco Bell, make a run for the border, and continue my descent down to the runway. As we're set up on final approach to make sure everything's looking good. Airspeed's good. Vertical speed, less than 600 feet per minute. On center line, stabilize approach. We're gonna continue this landing. 500. And as we cross over that threshold, I'm gonna pull that power back, change my aim point to the end of the runway, flare, hold it, hold it, hold it, and touchdown. Nice.
time to taxi off the runway. I think she's a little impressed with my landing by that face. I'm going to take that as a yes. Anyway, exit the runway, time to clean the plane up, and taxi back to school. That's it. Thanks for flying with us. Have a great day. Peace.